want something that gets in your blood, okay? You're, you're helping people. Giving their spare time to save lives and help their community. This is a full-time job on top of your regular full-time job. Banding together as a team in more ways than one. When our young guys now here at convention time, they get hit. Here comes the contest. This is your town, Cambria County Firemen's Convention. Good evening and thanks for joining us. We are coming to you live from Portage for this year's Cambria County and Vicinity Firemen's Convention. It's We're continuing our Your Town broadcast. Yep. All summer long we are showcasing the communities and the people that make this region so unique. And before we start the program tonight, I need to ask for a favor. If you're on Facebook, please go on Facebook right now and tell her her hair looks fine. Because we had a major crisis here a little while ago when the wind was blowing <laughs> and, and she he was all worried, so please, if you like her hair, go to Facebook, go to the WJC page on Facebook and say, Jen's hair rocks. The other thing that we like and we love around here are first responders, and that's really what this is all about here in Portage, is honoring and celebrating our first responders, all the time and dedication they give to helping our area community. This is the 96th annual Firemen's Convention. It's a week-long event. I mean, we're here tonight, but it's a week-long event. They do all sorts of things. They have meetings, they have competitions, they have concerts, and they have games. And your hair looks fine. Thank you very much. I think this... Wednesday night was past President's Dinner and the Firefighters Challenge. This year's single competitor winner is Ricky Price. Now, there were 38 people that ran the race, and Price finished in 53 seconds, beating the second place firefighter by a whole four seconds. But this isn't the first year that he's taking home the top prize. This was Price's ninth consecutive win. And next year, he's going to be trying for something never done before a take home win of number 10. Last night the fun continued. There was a live concert from Cambria County native and voice contestant Josh Gallagher. It was free to attend, although some fans, fans did pay a little extra for a meet and greet. And it ends or it leads up to the big parade that happens tomorrow. Now, one of the things that brings all of these volunteers from across Cambria County and I guess northern Somerset County, the Winter yes, area. Yes, in yeah, Indiana County. Indiana County is Blair County. fire school, which really is important. And it's really a place where anyone who wants to become a firefighter to start has to put in a lot of hours and get a lot of certification. And we have John uh, Hawksworth, yes. the fire school director with us. Talk about the kind of dedication that someone has to put in to be a firefighter, especially when they're starting out. Well, when you're starting out, it's uh, over 100 hours of training. Uh, you have a lot of things you have to do. I mean, you, you don't take any other job until you learn how to do the job. Okay, uh, let's stop right there, though, because people think volunteer firefighters are just people who, you know, want to put out fires, and they put on the suit and they go out. It's not anywhere close to that simple, is it? That's not that simple, no. Yeah, like I said, there's over 100 hours of training. Uh, certification. What kind of training do they well, do? we train on how to turn on a fire hydrant. You know, you mm -hmm. know how to turn on a fire hydrant. No. Yeah, uh, exactly. How to set a ladder. It's not the same ladder you have at home to here goes the fire now. Uh, it's not the same ladder you have at home to paint the house. And the garden hose. You know how to use a garden hose to wash your car. Uh, we use a two and a half inch line. It's uh, a lot more pressure and harder to handle. How important, though, I mean, in terms of the training, they're risking their lives a lot mm -hmm. of times when they go. I mean, it, it looks simple. We, we've all seen video of you guys doing your thing, but it's very dangerous. Work well, as well, and we, we teach the classes. We tell them, uh, you ride out to the fire, you might not come back. And it doesn't matter if you're getting paid or if you're volunteering to do it. Uh, we look at the incident going on right now in Heinemann. Uh, mm -hmm. Nobody's been hurt down there. Great training. Things must be working well for them down there. How important is a convention like this for all of you guys and gals to get together, blow off steam and have fun and just, you know. It's just a great, great week. You come down, you meet people, uh, your friends that you went to fire schools with, uh, you get to talk to them, uh, have some fun, a good, good fun competition out here tonight. Uh, it's been that way the whole week. Uh, we compete, 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 but at the end we're all going to have a drink together and have fun. Yeah. How difficult is it quickly to get certified? Uh, certification is 
approximately 150 right. hours of training, and then you got to go up to our site in Cambria County is one of 25 in the state that uh, we can get certified, so you don't have to travel out of the county. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's certain stations you have to do: turn on a hydrant, climb mm -hmm. a ladder, pack hose, uh, break glass, do things like that. So there's different stations you have to do. So because of the fire school, people need to know when those volunteers are doing their thing. They're well trained. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Have Thank fun. you very much. Thank you. Have a good time. I know we'll see you around. And your right? hair is nice. Oh, see, I you. told you that. Get <laughs> on Facebook. Nice. Earlier today, the Firemen's Association was presented with a check. They were. They were uh, given uh, the proceeds of the third annual Chernisky Classic 5K Run Walk and 10K Run. And 100% of the proceeds are going to benefit the Cambria County Firemen's Training Facility, that very facility. And that check came out to $3,400. So, you know, these guys rely on donations like that. Um, and that's what it's all about. Now, we're going to continue our Your Town trivia, but we're switching things up a bit this week. Since we're here at the Cambria County Firemen's Convention, we thought we'd put some firefighters and associates to the test. So we've got some questions. We have Pat, Patty Rosal, um, you're the Portage President and Fire Police Captain, correct? And we also have Matt Hart Hirschberger, and I'm apologizing, I'm doing this on the fly. And you guys are up to the challenge? Yeah, yeah now think about this. If you get it wrong, I mean, you, you, you go back to your station, you're Right, yeah, this you're is like, it. Are you ready for the first question? Yes. What is the nickname for the rescue tool? What is the nickname for the rescue tool? Jaws of Life. You got it. You got it. All right, Matt, the Jaws of Life is a hydraulic tool used by firefighters and other first responders to pry apart the wreckage of crashed vehicles in order to free people trapped inside. Very well done. All right, if you don't get this one, you seriously have to leave because these guys will not <laughs> Appreciate it. Where is the county fire school located? And that question goes deep. Where is it? I believe it's in Carrolltown. Carrolltown? What do you want no. to say? Pat. Okay. He's right, South you're out. And we have a sound we have, you know. Do we have a sound bite that explains us? Take that sound bite, control room. A fire school committee was appointed, and the first classes were held at the fire grounds, at the fairgrounds in uh, Evansburg. We got 23 acres is what we had, uh, plus a, a, a railroad line running from Patton Borough into Carrolltown, okay? That, that, was, that, was part, that was part of our uh, property. Okay, last question for you two. Who is the fire safety mascot for the National Fire Protection Association? Patty, come on, come on, Patty. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, he's going, come on, Patty. Come on, Patty. <laughs> All right. You're not going to want to forget this, okay? Sparky, the Sorry. fire dog. Sparky I was, gonna, I was, Sparky was, was created in 1951 and has been the organization's official mascot and spokes dog ever since. He's widely recognized as a safety icon. So there you go. We, I couldn't that. believe we stumped you both. But Patty, thank you very much. Thank Matt, you. thanks for being thank a good you, sport. Patty. And have Matt, fun, okay? Tonight when you're drinking a beer, you'll get a bunch of people <laughs> on the Sparky question. Go for it. All right. They'll, they won't know it. Thanks. Thanks for know. playing. Thanks right, for guys, playing. Thank you. And when we come back, we're going to take a look at the Portage Fire Department and the special ties that many of the volunteers there share. Hair really looks good. It's our summer Your Town series. We're paying tribute to first responders. Yeah, we're honoring first responders as firefighters from all across Cambria County and the vicinity come together for the annual Firefighters Firemen's Convention. It's been a really busy week for them here, and the fun has yet to end. Yeah, and it's really going to get cranking later on. But earlier today, multiple valor and life saving awards were given to people from across the country, uh, the county. One of those people was Matt Lamb. 
You may have remembered we did his story. He's a mailman who was in the right place at the right time. He saved a man and a woman from Ferndale. As he was on his route, he saw flames on their porch. There were others that were awarded for saving heart attack victims as well. And I remember talking with Matt. We actually tracked him down on his mail route uh, the day after that fire. And I just happened to run into John Rakowski, the homeowner's son, and was able to get the two of them together. It was quite the story. But, you know, that's what this is all about. People who are willing to help people, whether they're mail carriers or wherever they, firefighters, right, wherever right. they may be. These people really do. And I have to ask our producer over here, are we going to Dillon now or are we going to Casey? We're going to, going Casey. to Casey. Okay. It's been well, a busy, that's why I wanted to make sure. It's been a busy evening for Casey. Casey is going to be very, very busy. Casey, the weather here is perfect. The weather here is absolutely perfect. We thought we were all going to end up somewhere else, but it went around us and we're good right now. Yeah, it looks great there. Plenty of sunshine. I'm glad the weather was working out for there, but elsewhere across the region really dealing with severe weather. We actually just have a tornado warning in effect for Fulton County that is out of our viewing area, but this could continue to push northeast at about 30 miles per hour. Elsewhere, area shaded in orange. That goes until 530 and 545 for parts of Center County. That's a severe thunderstorm warning. Heavy rain, gusty winds, and even hail is possible with this system. As we take a look at radar right now, this line of showers continues to push east at about 30 miles per hour, producing heavy wind and uh, uh, gusty heavy rain and gusty winds as well. This is continuing across the region. Uh, we have seen some tree reports that are down across the region. So if you get stuck in one of these systems, be sure to take your time and maybe pull over until it moves out of the region. It will continue to push east at about 30 miles per hour. And we're going to see another line of storms continue to move in later tonight. I'll time that out for you coming up in just a bit. Now, the Portage Fire Company, which is obviously here in the community of Portage, like all the fire companies in Cambria County, they're made up of volunteers. But what inspires people to give all of their time and fight fires for free? That's the question. And Dylan Richards talked to some of the families of the volunteers to find out. Courtney is related. Blake is related. When Erica Butterball looks at the lockers in the Portage Fire Hall, she sees a lot of family. This one's related. Her family is the Cadwalders. They joke that and they make up half the fire company, but maybe they do. Aunts, uncles, cousins, parents, grandparents. Erica was most inspired to join by her dad. So I kind of just followed him, and once you're locked into the firefighting family, everybody's your family. And you probably won't be surprised to hear where Erica met her husband. Portage and Cassandra merged the two fire departments. Erica started spending more time with her now husband, Tyler. But yeah, we were together for six years and we just got married two months ago. But the fire service is ultimately what brought us together and now we can fight fire together. Her cousin Logan just starting his career in the company. He's 17 now. He's looking forward to turning 18 and becoming a firefighter. It's always so much fun to come here and see everybody. It's a second family to me. His parents and grandparents, they volunteer too. He and his sister have been around it for years. His grandmother used to sit up at night worried about her family out volunteering. The reason I actually joined is because I thought I may as well just go out and be with them rather than worry about them at all. They're actually not the only family. The McCoys make up a lot of the company too. My older brother Ron, my sister-in-law Celeste, my son Jacob, my wife Mary, and my daughter Emily. And one of the youngest McCoys, Carter. Not old enough to fight fires yet, but he almost certainly will. Logan's mom, Shelly, says their family volunteers because it keeps families and communities safe. Your basement floods, you call them. Your cat's stuck in a tree, you call them. Your kid is locked in a vehicle, you call them. It doesn't matter what time of the day or night. You know, they call the fire company for everything and they don't realize how much the fire companies use till they need them. And when they need them, they'll always be there. In Portage, Dylan Richards, 6 News. Isn't that the truth? Firefighters are always there. Now, Dylan told us we have to say, Dylan lived a sheltered life. Nobody in his family would talk to him. Nobody in the newsroom talks to him. So we're supposed to say Dylan's story was so good and because I, Dylan is, is what? great. Dylan is great. No one else will tell him that. He's average, but we'll tell him he's great. We'll be right back.
Things are really heating up here. We are live in Portage for the 96th annual Cambria County and Vicinity Firemen's Convention. The Firemen's Association was formed way back in 1921, and since then, it has certainly served the people of not only this county, but beyond. To become a member, uh, an individual member uh, for the uh, association, you're named by your county, uh, your fire school, your fire company, and then you join. I joined the association in 1954. That was that was uh, uh, it, it took me that long from 45 to to join to become a member of the firemen's association. Steve Unger is from Connemont Township Volunteer Fire Department. Unger is a president there and also served as secretary for the Firemen's Association for more than 30 years. Now he's chairman of the Law and Legislative Committee. He will be turning 90 very soon. And get this, he's still a very active member with many colleagues telling us he has never missed a meeting. Helping to keep it going. Helping to, help, helping to keep it going. I don't fight fire anymore. When, when I became 60 years old, I, 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 I quit running. You're helping people. You know, the quicker you can get to helping them, the, the better off we are. It makes us feel good. If we can save a life, that's fine. And outside of that, that's, it's, just, it's just something you do. Clearly a very devoted man. We need more people like him. And you know, we were talking to John Hawksworth earlier. Right. We asked him if he knew Unger, and he said, Everyone everybody knows Unger. Unger. Yeah. Now, we've been telling you there's a lot of things that go on at one of these conventions. There's challenges for the fire departments. And we want to give you a little taste of what one of the biggest is. Now, in just a short bit at 6 o'clock tonight, contestants will be running in the bucket brigade. But before they do that, they're going to give us a little yep. sneak peek. Take a look at this. This is the bucket for you. And I guess they have to keep going until they fill up one of those buckets? Yeah, that's, that's the whole thing. More to come from Portage. is just getting started here in Portage for the Firemen's Convention, but we are not done yet. We have some more trivia to play. You want to introduce I would love to. This is first. Andrew Myers and Ron McCoy, and you guys are both members of the department here in Portage. Yes. You've okay. been hard at work this week putting this together, so and we you appreciate realize your time. you have to get these right or <laughs> the rest of your night is ruined. I'll just go home. Oh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. First question, what is the rope ladder called? And it's not called rope ladder. What is the rope ladder called? Halyard? Bingo. Got it right. Nice guess. The, that's the part thing. Okay. <laughs> that's good. That's good. I, part. That's what they okay. okay. All right. This here, from listen to this one closely. <laughs> what do you call a vehicle that carries over 1,000 gallons of water? A tanker or a tender? Depends on where you're from. <laughs> That's awesome. true. It's it is. It is. Here. It is a trick question. Good job with that, Andrew. Depending on the region, it can be a tanker or a tender. It's a specialized truck that can transport water from a source to a scene. Water tenders are capable of drafting water from a stream, lake, or hydrant. Right. All right. Last question. This one's really easy. Who is your outgoing president of the association? Ed. Ed. <laughs> Ed who? Ed who? Ed who? That? Yeah. Very yeah. Good. Ooh, see, I was trying to, and actually, he's really proud of you because, see, he wants to come in. The whole reason we did this show is to make sure that he'd get on TV. Come on Ed, in here, Ed. Ed. Come up here. <laughs> Guys, thanks very much, all right? No, you can hang around. Don't go anywhere. All right, what does a, what, what does a, a president do? You're the outcome. Well, the president, if he's a smart president, allows all the officers and people to run the organization. All these and people that are behind you that do the, the real work? That, they do the real work. And a good president will tell you that's what he should do. And uh, I, 
I've been blessed with all the good officers behind me for the year I've been the president, and I have to thank all of them. We have with our queen today, who also had a project to raise money for the fire school. So on behalf of the members and officers of the Volunteer Fire Association of Cambria County, we would like to present you and your entire crew with shirts, and if, Thank you. if you would look on the back, and Jen, if you would read for us what that says. It says, Volunteer Firemen's Association, Cambria County and Vicinity, Education Through Training Saves Lives. And that is our key, you Education know, Through Training Saves Lives. I just want to thank all of you. Yeah, it's so really. nice to be able to look at you with smiles on your faces and see your faces when you don't have all that gear on during an emergency. Thank you okay. for all you guys Thank do. you for what you've done for we us. Have to, I mean, it's who did he do all right? Yes, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, pay them now. Be sure to join us next week for our final Your Town. We're going all the way to Emporium. We'll be live at the Cameron County Fair. And we'll see you then. Have a great weekend. Okay, now we can drink.